If you've ever looked for a flexible phone arm for your desk or workshop, you know how useful they can be. They're great for hands-free video calls, following a recipe in the kitchen, or capturing clean time lapses of your 3D prints. But when you try to buy one, you'll quickly realize they cost around 15 to 30 US dollars. Did you know you can make your own for a fraction of that price? Welcome to the 100% 3D printable series. You're watching 3D Fish, where I test 3D printable designs in real world conditions and explore the limits of personal manufacturing. In this video, we're taking a look at the smartphone holder by Savvy Maker on Maker World. It's a fully 3D printable phone arm that can even be made on a small printer like the Bamboo Lab A1 Mini, and it can be assembled in about five minutes. If you have a larger printer like the A1, X1, or P1 series, you can print the entire thing on a single plate. The creator included three print profiles, standard, A1 Mini, and high resistance. The high resistance version is stronger, and I recommend using it if you can. Just keep in mind it uses almost double the filament, going from about 220 grams to 410 grams, and it takes about 11 hours to print using bamboo PETG high flow. If you're using regular PETG or PLA, it could take up to 20 hours. If you want to save material or print time, the standard version is a better option. The provided 3MF files are well made and organized. The only small issue I found is that a few parts are placed on the calibration line of the X1C, which might require some repositioning or cleanup work before printing. I used the settings in the file and everything printed perfectly. Now, let's move on to assembly. The assembly process is simple and quick, but the Maker World page only includes basic visual instructions. So I had to figure it out by looking at photos of the completed model and doing a bit of trial and error. Here's how you do it. Step one, install the large screw into the base. Step two, place the small piece on top. Step three, attach the two parts that make up the phone holder using the two shortest screws. Step four, if you look closely, one of the arm segments is smaller than the others. Attach that smaller segment to the phone holder. Step five, now look at the remaining arm segments. One of them has screw holes that go through both sides. Set that one aside for now. Take one of the other two segments and attach it to the smaller segment you just installed. Step six, now take the arm segment you set aside earlier, the one with the through holes, and attach it to the phone arm. Step seven, attach the final arm segment to complete the full arm structure. Step eight, attach the connection piece that links the arm to the base. Insert the arm into the base. Now, the assembly is complete. Let's mount it to the desk. It works just like a regular phone arm. Clamp it down using the big screw, adjust the position, and tighten each joint to lock it in place. Once it's set up, you're ready to enjoy. Time to look at the strengths and weaknesses of this design. Pros. It's 100% 3D printable and works straight out of the printer. Unlike some designs, the screws print strong and don't need tweaking. It's easy to assemble. The clamp fits both thick and thin desks, which is a problem I've had with some traditionally manufactured phone or table arms. The arm swings freely and adjusts smoothly. Cons. The joint between the arm and the base is a bit wobbly. If you use a heavier phone, it may start to sag. Because of this sagging, it can be hard to keep your phone level. Adding reinforcement at the base connection could help. This design is made specifically for phones. It cannot hold anything larger, like a Nintendo Switch 2. The original Nintendo Switch just fits, but that's the upper size limit. Even with those drawbacks, I think this is a great design, especially if you're looking for a low-cost, practical way to use personal manufacturing to solve everyday problems. A big thanks to Savvy Maker for sharing such a well-designed model. If you want to print it yourself, the link is down in the description. If this video helped you out, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more 3D printing projects and model reviews. I'm 3D Fish. Thanks for watching and happy printing.